If you could play next to one of Celtic's past mid midfielders, who would it be and why? Um, I think it would need to be Tommy Burns. Um, just a huge idol of mine, um, someone who was pretty close to in the Youth Academy. Um, you know, he, he, what he did for Celtic, the player that he was. Um, everybody speaks about how technically good he was. Um, so I'd love to play in there beside him. Um, that would be amazing. Ask Cal how he feels about how well the girls have done. Uh, the girls have done amazing. Um, I watched the game at the weekend. Um, it's a tight right up to the sort of 60 minute mark and managed to score two quick goals. Um, amazing for him to, to be at the National Stadium. Um, obviously the the heartbreak of the week before, um, just missing out on the league. So it tells you how close they were to, to doing a double. Uh, I think the, the manager's done a fantastic job and the, the players have been absolutely excellent. So. Um, great for them to get one trophy um, and hopefully next year they can push on um, and try and secure the other one as well. So, um, yeah, good season um, and, and a bit of scope to build on as well. What ground would you like most to play at that you haven't played at before in the Champions League next season? Oh, good question. Uh, I'm going to say one of the English ones, to be honest. Um, maybe Man United, that's a famous stadium as well. So, um, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to play in some big stadiums and against some big clubs, so yeah, maybe that one. Favourite music on in the changing room before a game? Uh, to be fair, we've actually got the same playlist that we, we've played for about six or seven years now, so... Um, Bit of dance music, just trying to get the boys up for it. Um, I'm not sure the Japanese boys like it, but um, it seems to work for the, the British based boys. How important was it going out on loan in your early career to help you develop as a player now? Um, I think I've spoken about this a few times, to be honest. I think it was hugely important um, to, to go down the road and, and do something different. Um, you know, the team at the time here was really strong and, and probably wasn't going to force my way in. So I think that was another um, sort of good step in my development to go and, and play first team football. Um, the way that Notts County played at the time was, was kind of similar to the way that Celtic liked to play, play with the ball. Um, we had a really good manager there who, who kind of believed in youth as well. So um, it's nice to see me and Jack uh, Grealish at the same time being on loan there. So that, that gave us a little bit of freedom to go and play. and. Like I said, it just it helped me develop um, as a player and, and find out what men's football is like. Um, and then the following season came back and, and obviously made my debut and, and started my journey here. So I think it was hugely important. Oh, this is a tough question. What would be your five-a-side Celtic team out of all the players you have played with? Might need a minute, yeah. I would go Fraser Foster in goals, I think. Because if it was five aside, you'd probably just fit the goal in them and it would be fine. So, uh, CCV at the back. Scott Brown. And then I'm going to go high on the attacking line. I'm going to go Jamesy. And I'll go Musa for a bit of strength. Is your Japanese getting any better in preparation for the pre-season tour? <laughs> That's a short and sweet, no. Favourite cheap meal? Uh, I would probably say Chinese, to be honest. Um, I quite like to be Chinese. What's your most memorable moment at Celtic Park? Uh, I would probably say the day we beat Rangers 5-0 to win the league. Um, managed to get on the score sheet that day, but I'm trying to think back to a sort of better atmosphere. You know, obviously we realised if we won the game, then um, we would win the league to do it against Rangers. Adds to that as well, and then I think the performance level just for start to finish was was incredible. Um, and then we had a nice little trip to Tenerife after that, so I would probably say that was right up there. Favourite Celtic goal you've scored? Uh, I think 
Because it's Scottish Cup weekend, I think I'll say the goal against Motherwell in the final. Um, just an amazing day again. Um, double treble and all the scenes, everything that surrounded that. Um, when we got back to the stadium and a uh, really nice goal as well and comfortable um, sort of win. So I would probably say that just for the whole day. What's your proudest moment so far in your footballing career? Um, I would probably say uh, winning the league last year as captain, I think that probably tops everything. Um, just from where we had come from the season before, um, a lot of change at the club, um, a lot of pressure, expectation, all these things. Um, you know, tough season the way it started and then to, to kick on and, and go and win it in the style that we did. Um, I would probably say that was that's up there with one of the proudest moments I've had um, playing for Celtic. Favourite game of this season? Cup final against Rangers. Um, I don't think it gets much better than that, to be honest, if you go and playing that type of game um, with a trophy at stake and uh, I thought first half we were outstanding, second half we showed something a bit different um, to get through the game and you know a real togetherness um, and strength within the team. Uh, I think that's probably been my favourite game this season. How does it feel to be captain of this amazing club? Uh, again, I've spoken about this before, um, something that I'm hugely proud of, something that I, I carry with me every day, um, understand my, my role and expectation within the club and, and trying to push the boys um, every day to try and get better and, and, like I say, deliver success for this club. So, um, hugely proud to, to, to be a part of that um, and, and take that responsibility really seriously. Best player you've played against? Uh, I think I get asked this one every year, to be honest. Um, and again, I'll go for Messi. Um, guy's just on a different planet, to be honest. <laughs> when you're asking your barber for Jota's trim, you would not like to see me with a mullet, that's for sure. Have you always been a leader or has that developed over your time at Celtic? Um, yeah, I think it's developed. Um, I think the people that you meet um, in football in your life, uh, they, they have positive experiences on you and, and I've been lucky to, to come across quite a few um, really strong leaders, big personalities and I suppose I've always had that drive to win and succeed and, and do anything to win um, but then I think it's been shaped really well um, by the guys that I've met and played with and, and been coached by um, and then your kind of natural personality then takes over from, from all those learning experiences so you know I'm really grateful for, for the guys that I've came across um, and, and tried to add that into my game as well. As a fellow academy product, what advice would you give to likes of Rocco Vata and Ben Summers breaking into the first team? I think just to get your head down and work as hard as you possibly can um, from the minute that you, you start training with the first team um, to making your debut. You know, I think a lot of people think that it's that that's you made it and that's you here, but I can tell you it's a really difficult road from there as well. There's a lot of ups and downs and um, you got to show strength of character to, to get through the difficult moments. So I would say look at guys like James and myself um, that have that have had to fight hard to, to, to stay at the club and, and continue to push and get better as players. Um, and I think guys like James are a, a huge role model for, for these guys to show just how consistent you have to be um, and, and how committed you have to be to, to have a successful career at this club. So um, hard work and, and dedication is probably my two main messages. Why did you become ambassador to the foundation? Um, I think it's always been hugely important to the club, you know, the work that the foundation do. Um, obviously, I've I grown up in East End of Glasgow, um, so I know it's, it's something that's close to my heart as well. Um, you know, you see the, the stadium, the surroundings, and just how amazing the stadium looks, and, and then you go sort of four or five miles away for that, and you know, there's, there's people in real need a help and, and the club, you know, that's what the, the club was built on is, is helping others in need and, and, and helping the local community. So um, for myself to be a part of this club and be lucky enough to, to represent this club on the pitch then, you know, to, to have grown up in the East End, I feel like 
that should be part of my role as well as to try and help as many people as possible um, because I know that I'm in a really fortunate position so um, the minute that the club asked me to do it um, I was more than happy to, to try and help as much as I possibly can. What's the best piece of football and advice you've been given and who was it by? Um, to be honest I think pretty much every coach that I've came across has, has tried to give me the same message about staying humble and continue to work hard um, and, and stay in the moment, you know, do as much as you possibly can today and, and don't leave it till tomorrow because, you know, if you leave it till tomorrow then the next day you leave that and you leave that and then all of a sudden a week passes, a month passes and, and you've taken your foot off the gas and then, you know, in football when you, when you try and turn that switch back on it's, it's very, very difficult so I think all the coaches that I've came across have been, have been really consistent with that message of you know, work as hard as you possibly can um, every day of your life and every day of your career because someday someone's going to come and take it away from you and, um, and you're going to miss it. My favourite question was the question about the academy graduates um, coming through the system and, and what advice uh, I would give them. So congratulations, uh, Sign Top is on its way to you.